Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. And we are starting timer immediately. 10 minutes or less, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Boom. All right, TNT, I brought this up in the last episode and you said you hadn't heard about it, so I want to tell you. Dave Chappelle. Yeah. We talked about how uh, you know people buy property in Ohio because like it's cheap and you can get a big piece of land and a cheap house for sure. a lot, a lot. So mm-hmm. he, he lives in a little, I don't remember the name of the, ha- of the town, but it's like a very small town. It's kind of like an old hippie community. Yeah. And uh, this story, I guess it's a few weeks old at this point, but he, um, he was going to open a <laughs> comedy you. club yeah. and a few other, uh, something like that. And uh, they had announced that they were going to be putting this, like, subsidized housing yeah. in that town. Oh, so I you did, did hear about it. I did hear about this. Yeah, and then he goes to the, the city council meeting and is like, look, I'll pull my project from the town if you put this cheap housing in this town. Yeah. Like, And I was like, coming from nothing, now you're the rich guy who's going to pull your money out of a town because poor people can live there now. I, uh, how do you feel about that? How do you, how do, because, okay, let's just put it like this, Jonas. I get it, but it, it's it's tacky. He forgot where he came from, man. <laughs> he did, though. Like, okay, dude. On the same note, like, I get it. I right? get it. I do. But here's the thing. If you're the one, okay, there's rich people communities all over this country. <laughs> yeah. So if you go to a town that does not have a rich person community and you're rich and everyone knows you're the one rich guy in town, is it the town's fault they want to grow the town? No, no, so, no, but no. you're the asshole who's like, I don't want poor people to live here. Uh, he didn't say that. What he was like, <laughs> he I don't even remember what he said, but it was very like, I'm better than you, and I will pull my money out of this town if you. Hey, look, he, he did not say any of those things. You're putting words in his mouth. If you're gonna uh, 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 speculate as to what he said, did I, I will look it up right now. Yeah, Keep yeah, talking. Feel free to. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just saying is that. To keep a certain element out of the neighborhood. Right. What kind of element is he trying to keep out? I don't know. An element of people who may be more apt to commit crimes and rob his home. Um, Okay. Is it is it tacky? It's super tacky to say something. Well, he did it at a public forum too. He did at the city council meeting. I saw the video. Oh, you oh you saw a video of it. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Keep going. I'm 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 on it right now. I'm I'm just saying. I mean, if you can play it, you can play it. No, he says. uh, He. Oh God, where does it say? I wish they had the other quote. He said, "I'm not bluffing. I'll pull it off the table." But he said something along the lines of like a very like rich, pretentious thing to say, like. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like, hey, look, proof, not facts. Right, exactly. Proof, not facts. Uh, damn it, what was it, dude? I, I just have to say, it's like, if, all right, so say you're living in an apartment, right? And then all of a sudden they're like, hey, we're going to uh, start selling some of our apartments at half the price so that people can afford to live here. Right, right. Yet you're still paying the same price for your apartment. And these people, let's say the third floor apartments are the apartments that start going for cheaper to uh, help low income families move in, you know, because I imagine most people will want to live on the first floor. It's right. easier to get in. It's easier to get out. It's easier to right. move in. It's easier okay. to move out. So are you going to be like, okay, that's cool. So they're going to start charging less for people to live in the same apartment complex as me. Um. But these people are also going to be lower income, which means that you're going to get more single parent families, which means that you're going to get more teenagers, which means with teenagers comes. Right, right. So you're not. Yeah, it'd be the same as like saying like, oh, hey, all of a sudden our apartment complex is Section 8 housing now. Yeah. And they're like, you can stay if you want, but we're Section 8 housing now, which is for Uh, you who don't know is like low income government funded housing. So. uh, and it and it sucks to try to like pigeonhole and stereotype people that need Section Eight housing like that. But yeah, they're generally less money, less education, uh, and you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you, I mean, even like look at our hometown of Ashtabula, dude. The areas that had the Section Eight housing were the yes. ta- areas of town that had the worst issues with crime and drugs yes. and. Yes, and and that's not. I'm not necessarily. There's a correlation between that those the, the people who take participate in using section 8 housing and some of these traits not saying that all of them are that 
You know, I'm not saying every right, poor person right, is a right, drug right. dealer, or every poor person is a thief, or every poor person is a, a dirty criminal. Right. But crime and drugs come with low income housing. Yes. Just um, in general. Okay, here's what he said. He said, right. I cannot believe you would make me audition for you. You look like clowns. I'm not bluffing. I'll take it all off the table. Yes. So, I mean, that sounds a little when pretentious. He said, when he said he didn't want to audition for him, he was like, I can't believe you're making me come here um, to a public forum to express my displeasure in you wanting to pass this piece of legislature. Right. And I mean, that's where he's coming. They did say later in the article, that's where they, it wasn't just him. He's not against the people, but he's against like the environment that that sort of housing brings. And is that not what voting is for? Very true. It's just, but it's different if you and I, Joe Public, goes in there and says that, or rich ass Dave Chappelle goes in there and starts threatening to pull his it money does. out of the town. <laughs> that he's pulling his Trump card out. He's like, that's like using your influence in a negative way. Because it's one thing he has a right as a citizen that, that is true. to go there and say I'm against this. But for him to go there and say I'm against this, and by the way, do you want that comedy club I'm building? If not, I'll build it in another town. And you know what? I okay. And see, on this note, I will say is that this I I feel like it's always tacky. It's always like just a ba a bad show of your own character when you immediately go for money. Yeah, or you you take the I'll take my ball and go home route. I mean, yeah, there's that, but yeah, like if, if you think about like uh, when a dude is talking about like the girls that he he can have or a girl right, right. that he can get or like oh look at this girl you know and if a dude has to go straight for the money or he has to pull up in a nice car or you know he's like uh i might not look as good as you but at least i got money it's, why are you talking about money as soon as you talk about money i feel like you've already lost because oh, yeah. You're basically just saying it's like you got money and that means that you're better than somebody else. You're better looking or you can get a better girl or you should have this type of neighborhood. Attack with 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 uh, with ammunition that every person can use. Right. Exactly. Because he don't he's just go for you're broke. Well, right. And, that, and that's what really sucks, because it's like maybe that would really benefit the town and bring in money and do this other things. I mean, granted, it, I get his point, but, you know, in, in another situation, it's the same thing as someone lobbying, like a big bank lobbying to Congress to be like, I want you, you want our money? If not, we're taking it away. Okay, Let, let's engage in a little bit of, uh, of, of, of conversation here. What do you think he is thinking when he says he does not want low-income families in his town. I mean, he didn't say that, but he's, um, I, he's alluding I, to okay, it. Okay, yeah, right, right. Without, exactly. so, without um, so much work. Yeah, we're talking hypotheticals because we don't know what his real so thought what, process is. So what do you think what do you think is going through his mind? Well he's he's saying like I this will not happen. He I think what he's mainly afraid of mm -hmm. is that people are gonna come and interrupt his peace. Yes. Because he he moved to this little town. It's a very small town yeah, the people know he's famous and he lives there, but people are, they're old hippies. They live there. They leave him alone. He's very used to the people who know him there now. You right, know? exactly. So he's like, here comes all these low-income people who are probably, like, maybe you're fans of my show. They know who I am. Or they hate me because of my comments. They're going to be pestering yeah, me at my Oh, house, yeah, yeah, because he's been, he's been yeah. a little on the fly a little but, bit lately. But that's also, it's basically him like saying, like, boo-hoo, I'm rich and don't want to live with the consequences. I'm famous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boo-hoo, I'm famous, and people might talk to me now. Like, get the F out of here, dude. You're famous. Right, that comes with the territory. <laughs> like, I, I, I've i always liked Dave Chappelle. His, his recent comments have been kind of, like, borderline. Okay, he's, he's been a little all over the place lately. Yeah, but, you know, it's – but I feel like it could be anyone. It could be, like, my favorite person in the world in this exact same situation. And I'm like, that's kind of – it's kind of a sh shitty thing to do, man. And it is. And like, it, it's what's really messed up is that he has more than enough money to just freaking move if he wanted to. Like, if, right. If they did pass a piece of legislature, you just move. And I understand he doesn't want to do that. He has kids. He's built a life there. He's got the family. Probably loves that area. I mean, it's oh, his sure. main his main place. But you know. Yeah, hey. Yeah. I, I don't mean, know, man. I don't know. I feel like this is this is a hard one to talk about. Oh, it about. is. Well, the other thing is, too, because if I was like, if I ever got rich and famous like him, I'd probably do the same thing he did. I'd probably move to some small little town that was very docile and like whatever and be like, this is where I live. And then if someone wanted, I would feel the same way. I don't say he's wrong for feeling the way he feels. It's kind of a D move to pull that. It is card. a D move to pull so, that. So, anyways, but that's all time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. DNT. Uh, we are out.